first we're going to start by priming our eyelids with this ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. This is just their translucent shade. And then I'm going to blend that out with my fingertips. Now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Avatar The Last Airbender Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be using this beautiful warm brown shade here in the palette called Rortex. I'm going to blend that out into the crease using this Morphe JH31 blending brush. So I also have some under eye setting powder here on my under eyes just to catch any fallout that we might get. I'm just liberally placing that on the crease and I'm kind of smoking out towards the outer corner there. I'm really packing in that one color because that's going to be our main color there which we're going to use to really define that gold on the lid. So I'm just making sure to really smoke it out nicely and that it's all blended. So now I'm going to go into this beautiful gold here in the palette called Quicksand. I'm going to take this ColourPop E4 flat concealer brush and I'm just going to use that one color to create a cut crease. I'm actually going to add a couple of drops of this Inglot Duraline. This is a really good product if you have like any loose glitters or just any sort of like dried eyeliner or anything. It kind of brings it back to life. So a little hack here is just to add a little drop to any kind of eyeshadow that you want to use and it'll become more fluid and very easy to apply. So I, since I'm going to be creating a cut crease and I want it to be very simple and easy. I want to add a little drop of this to really make the eyeshadow more um, liquid formula. So this is really going to help and we don't have to use any like concealer as a base. So it's very quick and very effective. Now that the product is much more liquidy and easier to apply, we're just gonna automatically just carve out that cut crease with that beautiful gold. And this is just super effective and very quick. I'm just diffusing the gold towards the outer corner so I'm just kind of making sure that that brown just kind of diffuses really nicely into the gold and blends into one another but as you guys can see that was super easy and we have a nice defined cut crease just by using those two shadows and that Inglot Duraline. Okay so now I'm just going to wipe away that under eye setting powder and I'm going to go in with this ColourPop E28 little small pencil brush there back into that warm brown shade that we use in the palette called Rortex. And I'm going to smoke that on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to line my waterline with this beautiful metallic bronze lining here. This is from ColourPop. It is their creme gel liner in the shade called Groundbreaker and this was from their Avatar collection. Now we're going to put on some mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. So now I'm just going to pop on a false pair of lashes. These I got off of Amazon and I will link the specific pair that I used in the description box for you guys. And then I will be right back. Okay. 
Okay guys, so there is the completed look. That is my super easy gold cut crease tutorial using only two eyeshadows. So I really hope that you guys liked it. As you guys can see, that was like so easy. Honestly, I think that's the quickest cut crease I've ever done. And it is so simple, so effective and really beautiful. So I just love the way that that warm brown looks with the gold, the metallic gold. I think it's super classic and just really beautiful for any occasion. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!